What's up guys, assalamu alaikum, this is Buya. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new data type dictionary. And we're going to see how to create a dictionary, how to add and remove items or pop items from dictionary and what we can do with it. So without further ado, let's begin. So, um, so far, we've seen how to create an, how to create a string, a list, a tuple, a set. And this is the fifth uh, sequence data type that we are going to talk about, dictionaries. Uh, so dictionaries are also capable of uh, including several uh, items, um, unlike, for example, numeric data types. So we'll see how to create a new dictionary and how to retrieve a value and so on. So let's begin with uh, how to create a dictionary. To create a dictionary, we need two curly brackets at first and the beginning, each of them. And uh, a dictionary is like exactly like a real dictionary that we have, for example, English to English dictionary for explanation and so on. You check a, uh, you check a word in your dictionary and it provides you with, for example, several meanings, several uh, synonyms and so on, okay? So you, we've got a word in, in here, it is called key, and we've got a value for it, or the explanation, which is the value here. So dictionaries are the best data type that you can find to save key and value pair data sets. Consider you got a, a list of capitals, okay? The country names and their capitals. For example, the capital of Iran is Tehran, okay? So your dictionary contains, for example, Iran and Tehran, France and Paris, uh, and Italy and Rome. So for example, whenever you want to get a capital, you want to fetch the, the name of a capital, you simply uh, pass in, uh, type in the country name and it gives you the value for example you can say i need for example italy i want to know what is the capital of italy and it returns you the value so you give in the uh, you give in the key and it returns you the value so how to create one we've got two ways to create like uh, almost all the, the data types we've got two ways to create it here uh, using curly brackets and colon and uh, comma for separating. So the colon is here to separate between a key and value. Okay, the first one is the key, and uh, what comes after colon is uh, the value of that uh, key. So here, uh, for example, uh, the value of uh, Tehran, the key which is Tehran, is, uh, which is Iran, is Tehran. So this is one way. Another way is using this dict class here we've got, and we say, for example, Iran equals to Tehran, okay? Using equals, and it doesn't mean Iran equals to Tehran, it simply says the key is Iran, and the value for this key is uh, should be Tehran, or the value for France should be Paris, the value for Italy should be Rome. So, uh, one more thing about here, only uh, in this case, using this dictionary, only uh, string keywords are possible. Here, for example, you can have, a, uh, let me run this, you can have, you can have a key, which is integer, okay, it's, it's okay, for example, we can have a key, which is one, and the output is like another integer. It's, it doesn't return you an error, but in this case, you cannot have a key which is integer like this, for example. It returns you an error, it is a syntax error, so anytime you want to use dict as, uh, as a way to create a new dictionary, you should remember that your keys, all of them should be strings like this. All of them should be a string like this. So, these are two types two ways you can create dictionary so let me remove this and that one as well so here as you can see capitals and capitals or capitals one or both are the same as you can see okay so if you want to retrieve or get an item this is how you can do it get a value of a key this is how you can do it 
you pass in you pass in the key and it returns you the value using brackets okay so instead of uh index uh, instead of integer indexing this is uh, indexing using uh, names or your keys for example uh, here it says italy equals uh, returns rome because this is what we defined here or you can simply say for example iran it returns tehran the capital of iran is Tehran. so another in here we'll see how to create a new key value pair to create a new key value pair again the first part is like you want to get a uh, get the value of a keyword the first part the first part is the same but you say for example this keyword i want to assign this value to that keyword okay uh, it is like indexing in the uh, for example if we wanted to change an index in a list we would have uh, for example uh, type uh, would have typed here for example zero two four based on or uh, based on the range of index that we had okay but in in here we don't have indexing by integer we just have key and values so here for example uh, it says for the spain uh, use madrid because the capital of spain is madrid so simply we are creating a new uh, keyword and uh, this is how we do it um just one more thing if if a spain was already defined was already present in this uh, dictionary uh, using this way we would have updated that one i i don't know i have mentioned it here or not okay let me just add updating as well updating the key with a new value for example here madrid and consider it for example let me run this and as you can see the madrid comes at the end it says spain and madrid uh, for example i don't know let me think of another country okay uh, turkey i don't know am i writing it uh spelling it correct or not but turkey is okay let me check it so i was correct uh the capital of turkey is ankara so considering instead of for example k you write c okay this uh misses spelling okay whatever and after this misspelling, you realize, okay, you misspelled it. So what you can do, you can update it. To update it, simply the same, <coughs> the same approach for creating a new key value pair applies for uh, updating, uh, updating a value or a key in dictionary as well. So let me show you that. The value of Ankara, uh, the value of Turkey is updated in this case. The first one is C, but the second one is based of K. Is K, which is the correct uh, spelling of Ankara. So this is how you can create a new value pair, and this is how you can update it. So another um, thing that you can do, you may want to remove a key value pair. In that case, you can use del or delete keyword simply you pass in the key okay you don't need to pass the value the, the key are uh, the keys are unique okay you can't have as you can see here uh, this this was a really helpful helpful and handy uh, example as you can see here we have uh, two values for turkey but it doesn't create two turkeys as uh, or uh, keys okay we only have one uh, we, uh, the keys are unique exactly like sets okay consider the keys the the data type of keys are a set okay you can't have to uh, you can't have repeated keys in a dictionary the keys are unique exactly like in uh, real dictionaries that we use the keys are the are unique so uh, here uh, because the keys are unique most of the times or operations 
are based on keys because the values can vary. So, for example, here we, uh, I, I have coded that delete the cap from the capitals, for example, delete Iran. Okay, we want to, for whatever reason, we want to delete Iran. I don't say delete Tehran because, as I told you, uh, the values can be anything and even the values can be repeated. It's totally okay, but uh, the keys can, should be the same. So, uh, should be unique. So, here um, I delete Iran, as you can see. Uh, the, uh, Iran is not here anymore, uh, it's not present in this dictionary, and it is removed. So, another operation is uh, pop. The pop is the same as the other pops that we already checked. Uh, but uh, the difference here is that we should give it a key. We say, for example, pop the Italy. And in this case, it doesn't return you to Italy. Okay, so definitely it's, it will be useless. <laughs> you just pass in the Italy. It returns you the value of uh, that uh, the key that you uh, pass in, like this. For example, you pass in Italy and it returns you the value of Italy. The value of Italy is Rome. And here, uh, it it removes and then returns it. Okay, it removes Italy and returns its value. And I have assigned its value to a variable. And in here I have uh, printed it out. Let me show you the output. And as you can see, the popped value is Rome, and the Italy and Rome are not here. Are not present here, as you can see. The Italy is popped out. Okay, when you pop uh, when you pop uh, a key a key from your dictionary it is removed then return uh, why returning we've talked uh, about it before maybe you want to do some process from it and you want to make sure that it is removed and then process is done okay so in that case you make sure that you're not going to do a process for example uh, two times or three times uh, on a on a key and value you you make sure that it is removed then you'll do your process so let's talk about errors what is key error we are from, uh, we uh, saw a key error in sets video uh, this is the same uh, because as i told you the keys uh, the keys in dictionary uh, in dictionaries uh, are like sets they are uh, they they have unique uh, items so most of the errors are the same as well as you can see like here when you when you want to access a capitals Germany, when you want to get the value of Germany, it simply uh, returns key error. It says that this key is not available in your dictionary. Okay. And, uh, let me print capital as well so we can have a clear perspective about capital. This example. If only I can type it correctly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, here. The keys uh, are France, France, Spain, and Turkey. Uh, as you can see, Germany is not part of them. So simply, it returns key or it says, you know, key, this key is not part of your dictionary. There are several ways to check whether a key is in a dictionary or not. One of them is simply using in keyword, which checks uh, whether uh, this variable contains Germany or not. Uh, let me show you the output. It returns a Boolean variable. Okay, it says, for example, Germany is not uh, present in capitals, keys, not values. It doesn't check the values. When you don't mention anything after your dictionary, uh, dictionary is variable. It doesn't. Uh, it's uh, by default checks the keys. As I told you, because the keys are unique, uh, the keys is, uh, are kind of the representative of dictionaries. So here, Germany is not part of this capitals. So, so here, uh, we wanted to get access. We wanted to get a value, a key from a dictionary, but it raised an error. Okay, it raised, uh, it raised key error. How we can kind of uh, simply solve this, not in a how we can uh, smoothly uh, pass this error one way is using dot get let me show you the docker string 
Bit reasoner, it says that um, you should pass a key. Um, you can define a default. What is the default? Let's read, uh, let's, uh, read the document. It says returns the value for key, the key that you pass. It returns the value of that. If key is in the dictionary, if key is present in the dictionary, in here, Germany is not present in the dictionary, okay? So this part does not apply because key is not uh, in the dictionary. So what is the rest? The rest says it returns the default, okay? You can define the default, uh, and I have defined the default to be not here. Okay. So let's just say I write it down. Uh, yeah, default. When a key is not present, you can define a default for it. For example, you, uh, you, uh, you define, for example, none. You say, you know what? If the key is not there, just don't raise an error. Just don't break the code. <laughs> Let the code continue. So, okay, maybe you have 1,000 keys and only uh, you, you want to check 1,000 keys and only one of them is not available, is not present in the dictionary. You don't want to just break hold the code with because it just won in that case you you simply want to say okay return none and the rest of the code uh, can handle none okay just don't raise an error and just don't break it in that case this is a safe way of uh, return uh, returning um, getting a value as you can see dict takes no keyword argument okay it says just you, it says you shouldn't write default uh, as a keyword here you just need to pass its value this is because of this item here or this comes after it let me check it again maybe i miss a spell that no so simply no keywords no keyword arguments simply you should pass the values the second one is because it takes only two uh arguments the first the first one is the key and the second one is the, the value for default as you can see let me show it here as you can see the default is value you can change default for example 10 okay if uh, if the key is not uh, available there return 10 it's okay it works let me put none I, most of the time I return non, so I know how to handle non in the rest of the code. But again, it depends to your code. It depends on your code. So uh, here we see how to update a dictionary using another using another dictionary. Another dictionary. Okay. Consider we've got more capitals here: Germany, Berlin, United Kingdom, and France. Actually. France is here, but it's okay. Uh, it doesn't make any change if you have the same key value pair. It doesn't make a change if the key and the value are the same, both of them. But if the keys are the same, but values are different, it's going to update it. Here, for example, uh, here, France, as you can see. Okay, let me print it out here. So before checking it before applying it print it out capitals as you can see france its capital is paris but p is lowercase paris lowercase and this second dictionary that we are going to update it the france is the same the keys are the same but uh, the paris in this one the p is uppercase and as you can see the result the result, uh, the, uh, it is based on the update one, updated one. Okay, the P is uppercase because we updated, updated the capitals, and the new ones are added simply. For example, United Kingdom and Germany were not available, were not present in capitals, and they simply added to our code to our dictionary here at the end. So that's it for how to update. Let's see some other options, uh, operations. If we want to list all the keys in a dictionary, just simply capitals.keys. It says it's, uh, its type is dict keys, but it is based on, based on a list, okay? You simply can just apply list to it and make it 
strictly make it a list. It's up to you. Maybe, maybe your code or or your function or your method they just need a, a list. They're the same. Or by simply by applying list, you can convert your keys to a list as well. We're going to talk about it in, I think, in the next video, how to convert different data types uh, to each other. Actually, I'm jumping the gun here, but to convert different data types if they are convertible. Okay, for example, you cannot uh, convert uh, a string of characters to to an integer. Okay, because they it's not possible. If they are convertible, you can convert them or cast them to different data types. And to do so, you should use their uh, name, uh, their class like this, list, dict, set. We have already uh, introduced, uh, been introduced them to them. Uh, so, we are, but we are going to see a lot of these examples in the next video, if I'm not mistaken. So, if we want to get the keys, simply just all the keys, list them, use dot keys, all the values. If you want to list them, just dot values. If you want to get them in a pair, you go on with dot items. We'll see that we are going to use this dot items a lot in our for loops. Uh, they are very common to be used with for loops. And as you can see, for example, these are in uh, based on tuple, using tuples, and it's called dict items. The, um, the Data type is called uh, dict item. Uh, don't worry about it. Just realize that whenever it returns you uh, the items, you uh, whenever you call uh, dot items method, it uh, returns a list. Consider it is a list, which uh, within that list there are tuples, and each tuple contains two items. The first one is the key, and the second one is the value. As you can see, France, Paris, Spain, Madrid, Turkey, and so on. So, uh, like, like the previous <laughs> section, um, as you know, uh, dictionaries and sets, both of them use curly brackets to create uh, uh, their variables, okay? But uh, what is going to be this one, this curly brackets without items? How Python decides this is an empty dict or an empty uh, uh, set. How does it decide? By default, when you use it, just curly, bracket, uh, curly, curly brackets to create uh, an empty set, it doesn't work. It, uh, it by default creates um, empty dictionary. So just as a note, remember that uh, the first one, Using dict, you can create an empty dict a dictionary, like here. But uh, curly, bracket, curly, curly brackets, by default, they create dictionaries, empty dictionaries. And to create empty sets, you got just one way, and using this, uh, using set class to create set. So that's it for how to create an empty dictionary and empty set. So. So, so far, I think it was clear that dictionaries are mutable because you can add item, you can update them, you can remove, you can pop item from it. So it's uh, clear that uh, dictionaries are mutable because throughout your code, you can change them. Uh, here, I want to create a dictionary, which it's it's one of its keys uh, is a tuple and as you can see it doesn't raise an error for the first one let me just separate them in, into split them into two cells in this case when i'm creating a, a dictionary which one of uh, it's actually there's only one <laughs> Uh, keep a key value pair here. The key is equal to a tuple. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't need to be a one item you can have a tuple with two items. It creates it and it's okay because tuples are hashable. But when it, when you want to do the same with a list, it raises an error and it simply says unhashable type list because the lists are unhashable. Uh, this is exactly like uh, what we checked for 
a set, we cannot create a set which one of its items is uh, a list, a type of list, because lists are immutable or unhashable for Python. So uh, in here, if you're creating a dictionary, your keys cannot be, for example, a list, a list type like this. Your keys should be, for example, tuple, enumerate data types, strings, and so on. Uh, and uh, and uh, let me show you the same example that we had for sets. Uh, okay. I told you dictionaries are unhashable as well. Okay. So, for example, the same way, you cannot create a dictionary that, that one of its keys uh, is another dictionary because dictionaries are not uh, let me take it out to another dict here for example this is a dict that it works fine it does not have any problem because the keys and the, the keys are hashable in here because it's integer and integers uh, it's a and it's an integer and it integers are hashable here we cannot have we cannot have uh let me call it fix it yeah let me dictionaries are not hashable so here we cannot have a key which is another dictionary as i told you dictionaries are immutable or are mutable or unhashable so again but the same way you cannot have a dictionary that one of its keys uh, is a dictionary so that's it for uh, this video uh, please consider to subscribe this channel and click on the bell ring so you will be notified of the future videos as always and again uh, the codes are available uh, on this on our intro to python repository Please uh, consider to start the project and follow me on GitHub. And uh, I encourage you guys to introduce our GitHub repository and uh, our YouTube channel to your friends. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.